Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And in today's video, we are going to show you how to navigate and use the Insights section of the Meta Business Suite. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. And don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the Facebook and Instagram tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. In order to access the Insights section, we first need to navigate over to the left hand menu bar here in the Meta Business Suite. This is then going to bring you to the overview section of the insights here in the Meta Business Suite. Let's show you all of the things that are included here. Number one is the overview period in which the insights are showing for. You can see up at the top here, this is for the last 28 days. We can see firstly, there is the reach which we have managed to achieve from Facebook and Instagram as well as the overall paid reach. You can see there are ways to help you grow your reach, which is through uh, creating a post, or you could try reaching more people with an ad. And this segues quite nicely into the next section, which is the audience size for your Facebook and Instagram accounts. And this is quite useful and insightful because it allows you to create customized content, not only with ad copy, but also with images and videos that can speak to this target audience. Scrolling down to the bottom part, you can see that there are updates on messaging uh, performance from the Facebook and Instagram accounts. And if you want to see at any time what accounts you have connected uh, to the Insights section, you can always select the drop down button right up at the top here underneath the ad account or the Facebook, Instagram pages and see for yourself what insights you have. As a business that sells products online, you'll know that getting the right information and tracking is crucial for your success. And that's why I wanted to tell you about Segmetrics, who are today's video sponsor. The great thing about Segmetrics is that you can get a true idea of the lifetime return on ad spend generated from your marketing activities. That's because Sigmetrics allows you full funnel tracking from ad to purchase to lifetime customer. Getting set up with Sigmetrics is very easy. All it takes is a few clicks to integrate your e-commerce platform. So if you are operating with Shopify, WooCommerce, or any of the other major platforms, you can seamlessly integrate it with Sigmetrics. Thank you very much to Segmetrics for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, let's get back to the Meta Business Suite Insights section. Now, if we go to the menu bar on the left-hand section here and click on results, we will then be able to see um, what we have achieved for the overall reach for our pages, the page and profile visits to our Facebook and Instagram uh, profiles, the number of new likes and follows that we have managed to achieve in the set period of time that we are getting the insights for, as well as the different ad trends uh, based on paid reach, how many people that we've reached in this period of time, and how much money we have spent in order to reach those people. Now you can see here that there are some insights that were available on the homepage for followers, but you can also see the places towns and cities in which you have the largest following. And if we go up to the audience section, there's not just the current audience, there's also the potential audience section. And this can be something quite useful if you want to build and grow your following on platforms. And you can create an ad for that. And what you can also do is have a look at the types of interests which people have that are following you at the moment. Now, if we come back to content and have a look at the overview section, this will allow you to see just how effective your posts and content has been in reaching people. It has got a breakdown for posts, stories for Facebook, and posts and stories for Instagram. And now if we come down to the content section just underneath 
the overview. This is one of the most interesting tools that we have available. Go until we see the insights section and then click on it. And the reason for that is because this section offers direct insights into the overall post engagement for the recent organic and paid posts in the set period of time which you have your insights set for. If we scroll across, you can see the total reach, the number of link clicks, comments, shares, results, cost per result, and replies to message-based posts. Next, we come to the messaging section here in Insights. And this allows you to see the number of messaging conversations started. If you are running a campaign built around sales and orders, how much revenue has been made from that and the number of orders, as well as your responsiveness to responding to messages. And as we come to the video section, I wanted to talk primarily about retention as that is the most important feature here in the insights section for video. This allows you to see for your set period of time where your views are coming from, whether it's recommendations, followers, shares, how long people are watching the video for, and a breakdown in a bar chart of what that looks like, as well as the average amount of time people spend watching your video. And of course, there's a little bonus section too into the earnings that you can make from your videos. Now, there is a requirement here for you to be uh, eligible for monetization on Facebook before this happens. And if you want to know what these criteria are, I'll include a link in the description box below as to what you need to do in order to make money from Facebook on your video content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.